the first IMEI of all Redmi phones is RSA security protected. And the security of RSA is hardware modified. In case of first IMEI repair or change, phone software will crash. First IMEI repair will read the need of some mode fiction in the phone's hardware. This guide is for second IMEI only. Hope you all are well. Today, I will tell you in this video. How to repair IMEI of Redmi MediaTek CPU phones. All you have to do is follow the instructions given in the video. First, enable OEM unlock in phone settings. As I am doing in the video. And now open the UMT MTK tool in the computer. Here, select the permanent unlock option at the bottom and click on the bootloader unlock button. Here UMT tool will ask to connect the phone in BROM mode. The phone should be turned off completely. Now press both the volume buttons of the phone together and connect the phone to the computer with a USB cable. In few seconds the phone's bootloader will be unlocked. Now disconnect the phone from the computer. And power on the phone. When the phone is turned on, a lock icon will appear on the top of the phone screen. Which means that the phone's bootloader is unlocked. Now come back to UMT MTK tool in computer. Here select format NVRAM NV data and click on execute button. Now turn off the phone completely again. And press both the volume buttons together and connect it to the computer. Now UMT MTK tool will format the NVRAM partition of the phone in few seconds. Turn on the phone after this process is complete. Go to setting. Factory reset the phone here. It is very important to factory reset the phone. The phone will take some time to turn on for the first time after resetting the phone.
When the phone is fully reset, check the IMEI of the phone. If IMEI is null. So it means that NVRAM partition has been successfully formatted. And to change the IMEI, it is very important to have the IMEI null of the phone. Now let the UMTMTK tool disappear again. Here select Xiaomi Redmi 9 model in tool FRP section. And click on reboot under reboot to meta on the right side in UMT tool. Turn off the phone completely. And press both the volume buttons of the phone together and connect it with the computer with the help of a cable. In few seconds the phone will shift into meta mode. And a small meta written on the bottom side of the mobile screen will be seen. Now open the free tool of Maui Meta version 10 in the computer. Here, in the platform section, select DUT in meta mode with platform type. And click on connect button. In the device manager of the computer, the phone will be connected in meta mode. And here the drivers should be installed. Reconnect the phone once. Now you will see that the connection stages section in the Maui meta tool will run some essential functions. And the loud DB button at the top of the tool will be visible. Now click on Loud DB. A box will open. Click on From Target here. Now click on Search Tool in Maui Meta Tool. Click on IMEI Download here. Now the IMEI Download box will open. Enter only second IMEI here. While the first IMEI line should remain blank. When the 14-digit IMEI is entered, click once in a blank space. This will automatically generate the 15th digit of IMEI. Now click on Write IMEI. Here the message Write IMEI Successful will appear. Which means that IMEI repair has been done. Now close this box. And click the Disconnect button at the bottom of the Maui Meta tool. The phone will restart automatically. And the phone's IMEI will be repaired. The first IMEI of all Redmi phones is RSA Security Protected. And the security of RSA is hardware modified. In case of first IMEI repair or change, phone software will crash. First IMEI repair will read the need of some mode fiction in the phone's hardware. This guide is for second IMEI only. Hope you understand the video. In case of any help or guidance, you can ask questions in the comments section. Must subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like the video. Remember in prayers.